The ghetto consisted of one city block. Whoever came first had a room, got a room, one room. We had a normal size room. We lived 37 people in one room. It was my family, my uncle and his wife and his family, some aunts and uncle. Together we were 37 people. Now, it wasn't any running water. The water was brought in with buckets with the, from the pump. Uh, we didn't have any electricity. It was a little wood stove in the corner. If we wanted something to cook, but it wasn't nothing what to cook. And um, people lived, uh, even on the street, they lived in the halls, they lived uh, on the steps, they lived in the attics, wherever they had place. And because of the tightness and the proximity in the unsanitary conditions, um, uh, they were epidemics, different infectious diseases. So, uh, in, in, in we lived so close that so they spread very quickly. Many people died every day were funerals. Now, to eat, uh, they delivered uh, every day flour and potatoes. It wasn't enough even for one person if uh, not to be hungry, but not to a whole family, but we had to divide crumbs to everybody. And um, it was not, nothing what to do in that ghetto, not a newspaper. Uh, even if it did the um, one, uh, one wall of the ghetto faced the, the squ city square in uh, Lubachov, but the windows from outside were bored up that we shouldn't be able to look out what is going on. And we didn't have not a radio and no newspaper, not any news to know what is going on in the world, how the, the, the war progresses, we didn't know anything.